Hey guys, so we've got the stream recap and the patch notes here from last night. So I apologize, it took a little longer to get out than normal. I had tried to stuff a lot of things in here for the Manos and the, my thoughts on the Valencia trash update and what that means, and a few of these other items and the cooking repair details. But, um, so I figured I'd do new separate videos on those, so subscribe and stay tuned for that, which will be out in like two to three days. But so we're getting the Manos update, and this is, you know, gathering, cooking, it's gonna have a lot, buff everyone's silver. These are expensive and I'll have a video in terms of how to get them for free, how to get them from Quest, how to get them from exchanging Shaka 2 and Imperial Seals, and other ways you can get them, including crafting, outside of just flat out buying them. Because they're gonna be, you know, core coins included. So either they're gonna be like 200 to 300 mil on the marketplace uh, due to the demand. So we've got that in there. So, so stay tuned for those videos coming up. Just to keep the patch notes short, I figured I'd carve those out, which is why it took a little long. Um, we've got the Valencia trash note, which is probably the biggest thing in here as well. So this is going to allow new players and these, you know, our current console players to grind different spots. I hoped they had buffed the monsters when they did this, but it looks just, so it's current monsters with a lot more silver per hour due to the trash update. I'll set everybody on in terms of what I think about this and what it means, but um, I think it's overall it's very good. It let's you know the world spread out and people play different areas and enjoy the game and make silver at the same time and kind of improve the gear curve for new and existing players. But um, I have a screenshot of the existing PC grind spots and hour and you know silver per hour. I'll do a separate kind of ones on these for console as we get them and to kind of share my take and earnings with you guys as well. Uh, we're getting the cooking tool update where you can take exi your existing tools you buy or make, bring those to an NPC, get repair materials, and repair your tool while it's in your house. This is going to eliminate the waste and need to delete and put down and pick up a million cooking utensils as you cook. Pretty good. Um, so that's it in a nutshell, and I'll let Trent and Sharon to dive into some deeper details. We might see some PvP changes and other weird things in here. Um, but that's basically it, guys. Take it easy. Stay tuned for the you know deeper dive into Manos and the Valencia stuff, and the cooking. I'll demonstrate the cooking tools as well. Adios. Someone just asked, can you summarize the patch? Extra life exp scroll and the event. Oh, no, extra no. mount exp scroll times two. Puff mini outfit for Zerk Gwen. I have asked a hundred times for puff mini outfit and Cabellius. The female version, and I keep getting told, Sherna, why are you so weird? Right, let's go. Um, <clears throat> the logs, sorry, um, someone's asking about the logs, certain specific logs that aren't in, and we already have things in the game to be able to do these two things. I know, looking into it, uh, just because it's not on the road doesn't mean it won't be coming in anytime soon. Okay, so summer season closes, it will be closed on the 28th, we'll have the season plus. October 13th, the next update. Um, so during that time, season will be gone. Manos gear is coming in. Repairable cooking tools is in. The, uh, 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 there's nothing on that page. Some Node War and Conquest War changes, hopefully, because every time they're in and we read them on stream, they get specced out as soon as we get back to our desks. The ghillie suit change is in. So that means no longer will it have no name. It will just say unknown adventurer above your head. If you want, the current Trian costumes that you have, you can exchange for, for 20 crown stones. Let's go. Um, then we have uh, some character changes. Then we have some UI changes. Then nothing too interesting there. But we do have the MP, WP, SP recovery potions have now been merged into one item instead of three. So that way it is easier for newer players and also all the players who would go and buy MP potions thinking they're on a different class. Now there is one item that will recover that bar. We, um, da, 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 da. then there's the pity system for the potions. So you get the little pieces. If you get a big piece, it now has a tag that says ancient on it. When you collect those ancient ones, you get the same potion, but I think you get an, a, your name on it or something. Um, but yeah, the pity system is in, which also means the HP potion has its, the infinite HP pot has its small, medium, and extra large versions uh, for you to enjoy. This is very short. There, it's a lot more complicated than that, as you can tell as I'm going through my pages. Right, I'm still going through. 
there we go. All right, so then there is the loot change in Balanos, Serendia, and Media, uh, which is things like the Barrez weapons will now be, instead of it giving you different types of weapons, it will now give you a Barrez weapon box that you can then use on a character. All the all the spots basically within Valencia minus Achman and Histria have been improved in terms of the silver you can get uh, from a basic item that's in there, and that will explain more about how it works with Agris Fever plus item collection increase scrolls. You can now see if you complete a special quest, you can see which portal you're going to, and that is about that. And the portal I'm talking about is Achman and Histria. I'm out! <laughs>